Hi, welcome back to the channel again. Um, it's finally arrived, the um, near side wheel arch. It's taken just over a week to arrive, but it's here now. So let's get it open and uh, get it fitted. I also bought a couple of new head lamp chromes. The <coughs> old ones on this van were pretty horrible. So these should smarten it up, but they'll go on a lot later. some headlight chrome screws and a bag of Haribo. Brilliant. Right, so I think let's crack on and get it fitted. I'm not sure what the best way to fit this is, but I think I'm going to trim it up here and then trim this down this corner here and then weld the um, edge on. Because I think you can you know, drill all of these spot welds out and then spot weld that in. But as I know that this um, line here is okay, I might just weld this edge on, cut this, cut this lip off. I'm not sure. I also need to weld a new flange on here to match um, this one. And I also need to do a bit of work on here because it's not being shrunk really well or folded over well. I mean this this is made by um, clock a home, I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, with all due respect to them, I don't think they make the best panels in the world. Um, they're cheap, very cheap, but um, I don't think they've got the best reputation for fitting correctly. So I think it's going to need quite a bit of fettling to get it to fit. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare this edge here with a weld flange on to match the one that's on the back of the wheel arch so that they both sandwich together and then I think it's spot welded from the inside. I think I'm going to start by working this edge and tidying it up a bit.
problem I've got is that I've got no datum point here as to where this, where the bottom of this panel attaches to this. Because I've noticed on the other side that there's about a 20 millimeter gap. Um, because uh, th these have been replaced from this, these bottom sections here on this one, you can see where it's been replaced about, about here. So this originally, I'm sure, should have matched up with the bottom of this, but I don't think this one does because the other side doesn't. So I can't, if I cut this out of steel, I can't weld this on in there because I don't know where this fits. So the way I'm going to have to do it is to measure off from here, from the front, to get my line, cut line, on this side, and then measure the same down from here and cut it. Um, I'm going to be putting an overlap on. I'm either going to joggle this edge or this edge, I don't know which yet. Preferably this one, um, same as the door, so that any moisture running down won't run into it and rust it out. But I'll have to see how feasible that is. So if I have a centimetre overlap, if I'm a little bit out with this measurement, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, because I can't fit the wing until I cut this off, cut, so that the flange, so that this can sit in there. So it's going to have to be a bit of suck it and see. edge 
I've got enough room up here to do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean up all of this, get rid of any surface rust and get it treated because then I can paint it before I put the new wing on. I'm waiting for that to dry I thought I'd trial fit these headlamp rims that I've bought. Um, these are fairly cheap and cheerful ones, they're the plastic ones, chrome plated um, and one of the things I've done is this little lip here I've gone over it with a Stanley knife, a Stanley blade and just sharpened it so that it can hook over this edge a little bit better um, so let's try and fit them I've also had to drill out holes as well so that these would fit. Well, I'm really pleased with those, they fit really nicely, they're nice and snug all the way around. Um, and considering it's an aftermarket front F, uh, nose clip and the aftermarket headlamp rims, they fit really nicely. I thought I might have to do some trimming of some kind, but no, they're really good. They feel as though they're going to stay on nice and tight. I think they should smarten up the front of the bus when it's painted really nicely. So I'm happy with that. I've been having a, a long hard think about the best way to fit this panel. And originally I was wanting to joggle the edge of this, or the upper bit piece. Um, but that's just not going to be possible because I haven't got the space behind here, there's a reinforcing bar here that's not allowing me to do that. If I'd known that, I could have cut it a bit lower and then I could have done that. So, next time. So, I'm going to have to juggle the edge of this panel at the top, which isn't ideal, because you run the risk then, as I said before, of condensation and moisture running down the back, settling in here and rusting it out. 
Um, I've also thought about gluing it rather than welding it. Um, gluing it. But haven't got the confidence to do that. I mean, if they can glue new wings on cars nowadays with this um, you know, special glue they've got, I don't see why you can't glue these panels on. But as I've not seen anyone do that, there's probably a reason for it, so I'm not going to. Um, so I'm going to joggle the edge of this and then tack weld it across, and then I'm going to have to try and do something about heat shrinking this area. I've also decided that I'm going to cut this lip off, this flange off down here. Um, I'm not convinced that this section and this height is going to be correct. And also this edge isn't very sharp, it's very rounded, it's not, as, it's, it's not the same profile as this. So I'm going to leave the edge of this on, cut this off, and then I can also alter the height of this out according to the door fit and then weld it on the corner which should be a nice strong weld and then I can grind the weld down and make it smooth because there's no rust in this channel so I don't see the point of cutting that out and I'm not convinced that this the profile of this is correct so I'm going to as I say cut that off stitch weld it onto that Job on the edge of this and weld it onto that and then also then I can trial fit it and sort out welding the flange back onto the back here and also put the um, make the repairs to the back of the inner wheel arch. up like that I'm about I need to remove probably about three or four millimeters so I'll mark it and then cut it
first impressions, it fits okay. It's nice and tight up against the inner wheel arch at the bottom here. That contour is nice. Down here is okay. So I think next job is I want to work out where this flange should go onto here and get that welded on.
one it's taken a couple of hours of um, fitting it and taking it off and fitting it and taking it off and trimming things and bashing things into shape etc to get it to fit so I'm happy with the way it's fitting now um, I've still got an issue up here with the fact that this area here is quite badly stretched um, but I think I'm going to have to weld it all up get this wing on, get it all welded up and then if I can shrink this afterwards that's what I'll have to do but everything else is looking, looking nice so I think the next thing I want to do is I want to prep the inside of this panel and the inside of the, of the vehicle I want to spray it all with an epoxy primer um, give it as much protection as possible I'm using this uh, two-pack epoxy primer resin thing that um, I've used before. Um, really good stuff, has really good reviews. If you go online you'll find all sorts of stuff about it. But um, first of all I need to open up a new uh, spray gun that I bought because the, the, the last one, the lid got um, jammed on. So, I bought this off the internet. They're really good quality. These. They're uh, it's a Duren or Duren uh, gun. It's about twenty two pounds, something like that. Um, and for spraying things like this and undercoats and primers, it's really good. It's just perfect. bought one with a 1.8 tip on it so just need to get it set up and then off we go I don't want to paint it before I put the wheel arch on 
because I don't want any dripping down and spoiling the welds. So I can do that afterwards by removing these plugs. Um, but that's going to be in the next episode because I've just run out of time on this one. Because I think welding this on and fitting it is going to be a whole episode in itself. So until then, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.